And we're live. Welcome to Strikeout Beer, your least favorite podcast. As always, I'm Alan. I'm RD. What up? You know what, brother? Just another day, another day in paradise. Just living the dream. What about you? Yeah, I guess. Well, I oh, know. you sound defeated. I don't know. You don't know? I don't, I don't see an end in sight. I just, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I just, every day's a struggle. Oh, I don't yeah. know how much longer I can keep this up. <laughs> fought a good fight you know I, that's all I we did say, right? i did yeah. um hey tilly all right so tonight we're still on the na train um found this this is the uh, same brewery as we had last week hop lark uh this is hot Lark 0, 0.0 citra double dry hopped with citra hops uh this baby if you you heard me last week i, I did nothing but just brag about it you got zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero protein. Um, yeah, I mean, the only ingredients you got are carbonated water, citra hops, and citric acid. So there you go. I was going to say, this is like a hop water. Yeah. It's, it's, and that's, it's clear as can be. Oh, is it? The last oh, one? Is it almost kind of like a little watered down lemonade look to it. Oh, hell. I didn't know that because the last one we had was, uh, it was beer, beer. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, interesting. Yeah, I, I I really enjoyed that beer. You can go back and watch the the live stream. I don't know. We're supposed to do a, an actual like in, individual beer review on it, but we'll get around to that when we get around to it. So, but yeah, this one, wow, okay. It reminds me of the the tequila soda water. Okay, what it looks yeah. like you know what I mean? Yeah. Ooh, that smells pretty good. Pretty zesty. Hello, old school. What's up, old school? <sighs> okay. All right. That's interesting taste. I don't have a problem with it. It's just a uh, a little hop water, hop seltzer, hop seltzer. That's the best way I can describe it. I do like the citrus, though. Double dry hopped. That's what's up. All right. Ooh, I'm getting alerts saying uh, we had some overs hit from Victor Wimbayama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad old school's in here because I got. All right. So I met with Alan Saturday. Was it Saturday, Alan, when we met up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because college Jackson. football was on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're watching college football. A lot of tech fans there. And uh, was it Colorado and tech? Who the hell was playing? It was Colorado and tech. Yeah. And then Col- after we left, Colorado just, well, they started taking over before we left. Mm-hmm. And then by the time I got home, they were up by like 21. I was like, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sitting there hanging out and uh, I had to give him some, some uh, prints and stuff like that. We'll talk a bit more about that later. But, uh, Anyway, so it just happened to be, it's like, you know what, man? We got to get out of town. We got to do something. I got to get out of this house. I got to get out of here. And uh, so I went and I pulled up, I went and Googled uh, Vegas. I was like, you know, Alan's usually down to clown a little bit. You know, if I get somebody to go with me, you know, and uh, sure as that, sure as anything, it was $33 yeah. for a day trip. And I was like, we're back, baby. We're so freaking back. Yeah. And of course you were like, I, I won't know till the day. I was like, I don't care. I'm, 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 I'm taking care of it. You know, whatever. And so I got home and I asked Lizzie, if she wanted to do it. She goes, yeah, I'm in. I go, we're in. Okay. We're going to do this. And I don't, you know what? I might not even have booked till the next day. I can't remember. Anyways. No, I think you booked it that night. I think I had texted it that night. Yeah. Okay. Booked it that night and then fired out like five text messages. Sent it to old school. I sent it to Melton. I sent it to, uh, uh, another buddy of ours. I'm like, it's 33 bucks. Do you want a party? <laughs> so I'm like, Hey, this is the day I'm only going for the day. Old school. I think he said, uh, if he does go, it's going to be one of those, um, over, he's going to stay the night, you know what right. I mean? Or stay for another day or so, which I totally get, you yeah, know, hey, more power to you. I don't even know how I feel about it. Cause the last day trip I had was very rough and it, I got home at like midnight and that was late. Now I'm getting home at like 4 a.m. But I'm leaving a little bit early. Usually that that overnight flight is it gets out of there about twelve fifty. This one's eleven fifty. So yeah. I, we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try to you know I'm gonna try to have some fun. There is some new attractions there. Uh, MGM has a giant ass. Uh, what is it? The 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 golf the putt putt golf. Okay. Whatever. Cool. Yeah, it's like forty thousand square feet of all kinds of s. Yeah, he's looking into it, baby. Oh, buddy. So we're going to land early. It's the early flight that me and you flew out on. So I was like, yeah, let's, we'll get, we'll go there. We'll get some Denny's or something and then do some walking around. 
and then a few hours later we hit up the white castle and uh yeah lizzie was like we don't well we don't have a schedule right i go no i go the only schedule i got is i gotta go to white castle yeah that's it and she's like okay i was like yeah that's that's literally it so it's it's December tenth. Looking forward to my son can't go, and I was like, come on, you know, come on, Ty. And he's like, well, I'm start my new job. He started that uh, like day or That's so right. ago, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, all right, I, I'm glad that you're being responsible. And he really is. Like he he really loves the job and the opportunity and all that kind of stuff. So he's he ain't, he ain't leaving, ain't doing nothing. He probably won't take no days off for like the next couple of years. Oh no, <laughs> company man. Oh, oh. <laughs> You let him know that doesn't pay off. <laughs> it does in some cases. It does in some cases. So, anyways, yeah, it was uh, it was good, kind of just catching up and BSing and whatnot. And you know, like I said, I gave you some prints. You gave me my uh, my uh, Rangers uh, batting practice helmet or whatever. Yeah. It's one of the is those things are so cool because I remember having them, and I remember remember back in the day when you go to like Baskin Robbins, and they yeah. would put the, they put the, I mean, even they do it at the ball field as well. There you go. And they do it at the ball field too. And it's like, so all these plastic hats and then they had the big ones. You can have a big one. Now you didn't wear it around your friends because your friends are dicks and they'd slap yeah. the top of it. And those five, you know, little things that hold the the interior webbing in there or whatever would go right into your freaking dome. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I love those damn things. And so now I think that's like my fourth one. I have three yeah. now because I have the giants I have the pirates. And then I just got that angels one. So yeah. I got to get me a socks one. I do want some, some old school ones. Um, I wouldn't mind an old Padres one, a Dodgers one. Obviously yeah. I'd give me a New York one as well. So there, there are some that I want. Um, I, I, you can buy the whole, like some of these people sell the whole set on eBay, but I'm like, I'll go one by one, but I probably yeah. should just buy the whole damn set. Cause that's going to, that's going to cost me less money per, per helmet. So, but yeah, that was fun. I was like, all right, cool. I mean, it depends. Cause like I bought that helmet for two bucks, mm -hmm. right? I got to meet for two bucks each and I was just at a thrift store and they were just sitting there and I was like, huh, well, you're coming home with me. Right. Whether, whether you wanted it or not, I was buying it. You know, I was like, Hey, do you have this one? You're like, no, I don't. I was like, all right, well now you do. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, but if not, I would have had it. So nice. Awesome. Dude. How fast is November flying by? It's absurd. Like, I, I don't know even what to say about it. I thought about, I looked at the calendar. And I was like, oh man, dude, we got like a whole month before Thanksgiving. We're good to go. Yeah. And now we're like two weeks away from Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going that on. That escalated quickly. Very <laughs> quickly. Like, and I, I the, it's flying by, but then on top of that, you have people that immediately, as soon I'm talking before I got all the crap out of my yard from Halloween, they're already putting up Christmas stuff. Like you got any man in your neighborhood that's already got their Christmas lights up and on? Couple of houses down, the dude's got a Santa Claus bigger than his house in his front yard, an inflatable Santa that is just it's massive. Like and it replaced the massive like skeleton pumpkin guy that he had inflatables, like a pumpkin skeleton type thing that was just massive. And this Santa, I mean, it's his house is kind of like slanted, like on a hill type thing. And so it's down there towards the bottom and it's still taller than his house. Like it's he only does he only do one inflatable? No, he's got a couple others, but he's got that that big ass thing. I'm gonna have to take I'll have to take a picture and post it. Yeah, there's, there's a dude in the next neighborhood over, and he that's what he a giant pumpkin. It's big and he's got a big ass house, and it's as big it's as big as his freaking house. It's not like the one more it's a it's a commercial one, you know what I mean? It's got the big old pump behind it and everything to keep it up at all times. And then right. it does the same thing with the Santa Claus. I'm like, holy moly, like, what the hell's going on? But I'm like, this guy's got the perfect bit. He's like, set it and forget it. I'm pretty sure there's not any other lights on at that house. Nothing else in the front yard, nothing. He just puts these giant ass like, inflatables for three. He probably has a turkey out there right now, but Jesus. But yeah, I got neighbors that full on trees are up. All in the window, lit up every night. Christmas, the the lights all around the house are on. They got inflatables out front. I'm like, bro, it's not even. We're two weeks away from Thanksgiving, and you got already got your stuff up. Yeah, we got our turkeys out. We got an inflatable turkey in the front yard and one in the back. Um, but that's it. Like we, we're not putting Christmas stuff doesn't go out until after Thanksgiving. If I do anything, like if I have a free any free time between now and then, I'll like start to set up the lights on the house, but they won't get turned on. 
Like I'll turn them on once to make sure that they work and then they won't come on again until after uh, Thanksgiving. But that's just if I have a free, any free time, which probably won't, but yeah, luckily I guess the house, it's like, if I'm on the front side of the house, my normal size ladder just reaches it. Like I can reach it from there. So it's kind of easy. And I do the Clark thing, boy, it's staples all the way across. I used to put the little gutter hooks or whatever on there. I don't know. It seems like squirrels and stuff chew it all up. I don't know. So I got me a new rifle to handle those squirrels too. Yeah. You were telling me about that this weekend. Yeah. I fired off like 15 shots just blindly one day. I was like, he's out there somewhere. <laughs> I mean, if you don't get him, you might get a mountain lion. <laughs> you know? yeah, that's mountain lion. He was in Plano. Like yesterday, just trolling around. He's just been all over. But Frisco to play, started in Frisco. Now he's in Plano. Like just roaming, bro. Just, he hasn't attacked anything or any. Like there's been no reports of, you know, pets or interactions with people. He shows up late at night, showing up on people's ring cameras and things like that. And he's just kind of trolling around, just seeing what's going on. Jesus, that is crazy. I don't. I don't know what I would do. I came across, I'll just ship, I ship my pants, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, that's I'd freeze the up. Proper just... response is to shit your pants. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Let's see. Hold on. The mountain lion like... in, in Frisco. There's Frisco. Yeah. In Frisco Plano. But they don't know if it's the same mountain lion. Like they, they, they haven't been able to determine whether or not it's the same one or not, or if this is multiples. We don't, we don't know what's going on. We don't that know what he's doing. Trailer park. Um, He's making a trek to go somewhere. He's like, hey, you know, I just really want to really want to get to the Grand Canyon, guys. You know, I've been really wanting to see that. And so he's just kind of making his way there. Bro, that thing is huge. He's, he's a year and a half. He's a wow. young man. He's only a year and a half. And he's massive. Just yeah. walking down a residential street, North Plano. Yeah. That ain't far from here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what do you, what happened? Here's what to do. I'm going to read this to you. If you encounter this mountain lion. Is okay? it just two words? Shit yourself? <laughs> yeah, it's pick up, <laughs> pick up all children off the ground immediately. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like sticking the kid and running off. Take him. <laughs> Dude, don't. got to be faster than you. <laughs> yeah, do not approach the lion. Talk <laughs> calmly and move slowly. Do not turn your back on the lion. Do not run. Enlarge your image. Avoid crouching or hiding. If the lion is if the lion gets aggressive, throw sticks, rocks, or anything you can get your hands on the kid. <laughs> <laughs> if the lion attacks, fight back, which can drive them off. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you just sock that effort in the nose. Yeah. Okay. A, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's that easy. You just punch them. It's a Probably damn cat. You, don't you know how to handle a cat? You know, his claws are a little bit bigger than a cat's. What's up, Jason? He is a cat. It's the same size as a cat. I, no, he's not the same size as a cat. You could get away with kicking Peyton. You can't kick this cat, okay? See, you're saying cat. It's a cat. Everything's a cat. They're all cats. But it's just the big a, cat. Yeah, the big, big cat. cat. I actually was going to uh, do a little shout out for Mr. Jason Dennison here. So uh, we went up to Choctaw Sunday night up in Duran, Oklahoma. I just wanted to stay the night. We're like, it was just, we'll screw, get out of the house, screw around a little bit. I also wanted to go to, it's called the league. Um, it's like a massive sports bar out there. It looks like a, a book. Yeah, that's okay. exactly what it looks like, but it's not, it's like, I'm just waiting for them to, to just flip the switch. Cause they probably have a hundred televisions. Right. And so they had all the games on and whatnot. And so uh, I was like, Hey, I'm going to be going to Durant. Are there any other breweries? Cause the only one I see is lost street brewing right. in Durant. And he goes, Hey, Check out Harbinger or Harb. I called it Harbinger, but it's Harbinger. And that was up in Cato. And I think that's how you say Cato. It's C A D D O, Cato, Oklahoma. It was like downtown in this cool ass little area. Popped in, real rustic. It's an old ass building. Um, kind of small tap room. I don't know, normal size. I don't, I don't know how to say it. Uh, maybe the tap room was about the same size as Brutal right oh. total total and then you had an outdoor patio and then they were like taking over the next building on the other side of the outdoor patio they have like concerts and stuff out there they had a big old stage so we sat there for a, set, a little bit we're just like yeah hey, you know you go what can i get you i go you know what and he goes you can do flights if you want to go no man i already see what i want and it's that colch and i go is the colch good and he's like yeah yeah here you go and so lizzie and i had a couple of those each and then we we're asking about the game and he's like oh here you know 
he turned the TV on and he put it on the channel. And he handed me the controller. Here you go. <laughs> put it on whatever you want to put it on. And so I was like, well, I don't, they had some cool little music going and whatnot. Um, and I'll do a whole little separate review. Cause I did, I brought home the Kolsch, you know, so I want to okay. do the review and whatnot. And so I had a lot of fun at that one. And, uh, like I said, really, really cool. Almost didn't want to go. Didn't want to leave, but I was like, well, we got to head over to law street, um, uh, popped in there. They are a little bit bigger. They remind me of kind of community or, um, false idol. You know what I mean? Okay. Just a lot more going on snacks and all this other you know stuff. They had a lot of trinkets and stuff there too. So it's, it was a pretty large place. Uh, it was pretty big. So it was, but it was really nice. It was really cool. So yeah, big shout out to, to Jason there for recommending uh, going up to uh, Cato because I really, really enjoyed it. Did you see the brewery behind the glass door? No. What brewery behind the glass door? You mean like the, uh, the, what, uh, the. At the brewery the you were at? Their production area? Because I did see the production area. Yes. Was it behind a glass door? Both of them were, I think. Yeah, both of them were behind glass doors. Did they have a bunch of Oompa Loompas running around running the place? I'm waiting to see what I missed because now I got to go back if it's something like that. Like now I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I need to. Now I need to know. But the, yeah, no, we. Uh, had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun out there. It was behind uh, the bar area. So I guess it was at the brewery that you were at. Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw that area. Uh, what's going on at United Craft of America on and Yeast Infection Brew Works over on uh, Instagram? We got Instagram up tonight. I was going to do go live for SB Fantasy Football, but they just wouldn't let us. They said we don't qualify. Or, uh, I think because we just created the account. So Because I, I, I think the thing is, I think with – Streamyard, the the program we use, you have to have a hundred followers in order for them to let you stream yeah. live. You know I think was, that's what it is. You know, what was weird is you know, say, you know, it says you got to have like a certain account to go live on on X, you know, oh. whatever. It's like, oh, actually, I can go live from my phone. Yeah, I, I don't understand what's going on here, but uh, maybe they're trying to pick up some loose loose change along the way. Who knows? It's but, uh, yeah, no, all the money, uh, what they say, all the money. Had a blast up there, really appreciate the recommendations. Um, but yeah, good stuff, yeah, really good time. And the so we had a room, the room was comp, but they uh they put us on the second floor. They were like, Hey, we're gonna get you, you guys want a balcony? We're like, Yeah, we want balcony, It'd be fine. Never had one up there. Well, the second floor, they're like terraces or whatever you want to call it, so like you can walk out onto it, and it's probably. I don't know, 15 feet long, 10 feet okay. wide. So yeah, good size. Had a uh, six-person uh, table out there with a couch and a couple chairs, and that's where we shut it down. Like, uh, we were done for the night. Like, after having some fun and gambling and everything like that, we went upstairs, and I was having a cigar, had my feet popped up on the table. Lizzie was laying down, like, on me, on my lap, and uh, I had the Bluetooth going, bro, and I was just – looking just around looking open nice. air and buddy it was nice and it was gorgeous that night it was gorgeous so a big fan had a lot of fun um yeah i didn't only and someone asked, i ran into someone from santander or, or from a, a work up there and so i was like i ran into them and i was like holy crap i was like hey how you doing man you know whatever and he says he goes up there twice a month he goes, this is my, this is my sanctuary. I go, no kidding. So big, you know, like to gamble a lot. And I was waiting to see him at work this week. So I could ask him, like, Hey man, what do you actually play or whatever? I didn't want to bog right. him down or anything like that. And, uh, but yeah, I was like, Jesus, man, that's pretty cool. Was uh, it a tray cigar. Those are delicious. But. No, I had, I couldn't even tell you the brands. I had three random ones. They were like from, uh, multi-packs, multi-packs and, and whatnot. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no Buffalo tray cigar. They yeah. burn pretty good. They, they, each one lasted like several hours. So it was, it was definitely, and they smooth, easy smoking. Um, didn't have a, didn't have a real bad stench to them or whatever. So it didn't like stick to you real bad. Yeah. It was, I, yeah, some I, little sweeter ones. They'll like kind of coat your mouth a little bit. Right. I don't, I'm not a big fan of those, but like your, your whiskey cigars, I think are pretty damn delicious. Um, yeah. And those, those $2 ones we get are are pretty damn good i can't remember what brand those ones are but coram ain't too bad um the blue band uh yeah. states 
because they're yeah. not the, the 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 red band Drew Estates is uh, the sweet ones. The sweet yeah. one. They didn't have any Drews um, out there at Total Wine before when I went out there to pick some up. I did. You know what? When I got a corn one, and then there was like two other ones. I was like, okay, let me give it a try or whatever. I think I might have taken a picture of one. So I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll be able to look that up. But yeah, um, totally chill. Had a good time. Uh, um, they took my craps machine out of there. So I didn't get, I didn't play any craps. I was going to play back rap and I was like, okay, here we go. Yeah. And they were three deep yeah. receipts there. Like the, the pit boss, like, Hey idiots, you, you can't like have as many people here. There's too many chairs at this table and whatnot. So yeah, Jason, we're drinking. Go ahead. Alan. Uh, we're, we're sticking with hop lark, which is what we had last week. We're having their citra. It's a double dry hopped with citra hops. Uh, looks like this bad boy right here. Um, and it's, uh, it looks like almost like a, like a watered down lemonade look to it. Like, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's, it's not bad. It's an interesting taste. It's something different. Um, yeah, I can't say that I, I, I'm still figuring out whether or not I like it. <laughs> Let's say that as I'm on number two right now. So, you know, it requires more research. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to, we're going to give it more research. So yeah. don't you worry. Don't you worry. But yeah. Uh, like summer some, no, 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 I wouldn't say because it, it, it doesn't have that like it doesn't have a lot of citra taste to it to me. I'm not really I would want a little bit more of that citra taste to it. Kind of like that lemon taste to it. Um, it's just kind of almost like a watered down hop taste. Is that what you're picking up from it? Yeah. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a drink that's. Let me just tell you, it's it's a we've reimagined craft. There's no calories, no sugar, no carbs, no gluten. Flavor bomb. That's what you're getting with this thing. So yeah. it's just an alternative. I got a green screen, so you can't see that. But in it's it's to me, it's just top water. That's what it is. Um, it's kind of refreshing or whatnot. Uh, that's same thing as La Lagunitas. They got a hop water as well, and it does remind me of that. Let me see what they. All right, we do everything differently than corporate drink companies. We never use added flavors. We don't take shortcuts. We brew every drop ourselves. We pack it ourselves right in our brewery in Boulder, Colorado. Um, double dry hop flavor. We've developed a unique proprietary brewing process to create a new craft experience made simply from the highest quality citra hops and sparkling water. There you go, sparkling water. That's all it is. There we go. It, it says it's not beer. It's not a beer. It's a hop lark. So, yeah, and it's it's all right. What's the date on this thing? I'll make sure we didn't get an old one because I've had a couple they've left on the shelf and they didn't really seem to care. Um, five five twenty five. Cool. There you go. Perfect. But yeah, people like uh, they talk about it like yeah, you know, give it nice little reviews on their website. That is because it, uh, it's not on Untapped. Bunch of <laughs> jerks. <laughs> So, anyways, they didn't have my machine there, um, and the back right table was crazy. I mean, crazy packed. So I just kind of hung out. I kind of had beers. So we we brought a twelve pack of Tall Boys, and I kind of kept top my cup off. And you know, even when I ran through all that beer, I was like, okay, well, let me just order. Um, give me a couple more, a couple more. You right. know, just kind of people watch, hung out with Lizzie a little bit as well, obviously. And then finally, at the end of the night, before we we're about to call it a night, I was like, she's like, come on, let's play. I want to play one more game. I go, okay. And it's one of those, uh, it's called Crazy Rich Asians. That's the name of the game. It's that movie. Um, right. And so she sits down. She goes, here, play right here. I was like, okay. So usually when she does that, though, sit down because you're about to win some money. And so I sat down. I was like, slipped some money in there. I didn't like max bet. I like hit it in the middle. And I just, bink. And then it just went, you know, it was like, dee -dee 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 -dee, you know, special effects and all that kind of stuff. And got free spins. Um Got more free spins during the free spins. More free spins during the free spins. Oh, those are always fun. So I got like 50 free spins. Um, didn't get as much as I wanted. You know, I think I, I don't know what the final number was. It was like 100 and some change. It wasn't nothing crazy. You know, nothing like what Lizzie usually wins or, you know, whatever. Right. But uh, I was like, all right, cool. Cash out. And I walk back up. I walk upstairs. So <laughs> it's like I'm done. I played <laughs> one hand. I rolled the dice one time. And <laughs> there you go. I can't. You can't can't you know think of anything better than that and i already spent that money anyways that money was spent at the at the bar so i broke even baby how'd lizzie do she normally does good you know i didn't ask uh okay. 
she was up and i every time i see her she was kind of up or be down you know she likes playing all the different machines um you know something catches her eye she jumps over there and plays. i mean she ran a couple of them up and then i'm uh, you know i was asking how's it going she goes oh, buddy <laughs> so, away. you know you can't make it on without breaking some eggs you know what i'm saying so <laughs> that's uh, that's just what it is jason wants to know what's the most expensive bottle of liquor we bought 150 bucks i think see i, I don't even think i've spent that much like i i've never bought a real expensive bottle i'm f- probably 50 right um like a, like a whiskey you know that i probably spent about 50 bucks on 40 50 bucks somewhere around that area your your woodford reserve your buffalo trace your you know yeah i it was some tequila bottle it wasn't even for me it was actually for melton uh or melton's wife it okay. was her birthday it's like her 50th or something like that and so i bought her a damn good bottle of uh of whiskey or of, of tequila and of course they're like hey man we're doing shots take it i go i gotta drive this old broad home i ain't doing <laughs> shots you don't know whatever and the crazy thing was like it was a it was a badass party it was a house party and then they had the tent outside with the dance floor and all this kind of stuff and uh just coolers and coolers of beer and so when I got there, he was so excited. I came because usually I'm uh, I'm sick. I'm under the weather, right? <laughs> so right. This is the telling people I haven't been feeling good for years. They always wonder, like, is Brandon okay? Like, is he on this deathbed? Go, I he just, just doesn't like to hang out with people. But anyways. He just hates people. I went out there, and he goes, go on out here. Come on, Brandon. Go, you know, let me show you this, you know, whatever. So he opened up all and goes, I got you plenty of beer right here, buddy. So, you know, get the drink. And I was like, okay. So I must all have right. like 50 Coronas. <laughs> <laughs> But I wouldn't take a shot. Actually, they they convinced me to take one because I looked at Lizzie. I go, "What do you think?" She goes, "Yeah, you seem fine." I go, "Okay, I'll take a shot." I go, "I go, give I me mean, a little." Yeah, take one with the birthday girl, right? I like, I did. Um, but yeah, that other than I think I bought I think a seventy five dollar bottle of whiskey, but it wasn't like it was good whiskey. I think it was like Crown, but it was like uh the big one. It was what like what about the, that Game of Thrones whiskey you bought? Was that pretty expensive? Ooh, that was that was like seventy. 70 bucks 75 bucks okay. is lack of lack of lulin or whatever yeah lack of, got it it's just kerosene someone poured kerosene in that and slapped a label on it Dude, I, I enjoyed it i enjoyed it when i had it. i was like oh this is good you're like really i was like yeah <laughs> so maybe that one and the other one uh time that the the that lack of lulin lag of Vulan or whatever however you say it it was a normal size bottle it wasn't big at all it was like you know we we held on to it for a while because I just didn't drink a lot of it. But uh, we've had that for the final season of uh, uh, the Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. But yeah, the the one I the one I had bought one time it was we were having a party at the house out in Little Elm, and I had come out of the liquor store with. It. I was like, I had it over my head. Like, I was like, I was like, like it was a damn trophy. And then it came <laughs> with a damn swivel. You know what I mean? Like you, you know, so you have to pick it up. It was a big omf or I mean, it must have been over a gallon. It, I don't know what oh, the hell. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of whiskey. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I didn't make it that far through the night. I was just like, <laughs> I, 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 had, I, had I, to rally. <laughs> I had to rally quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, let me let me ask you a question. Because uh-huh. you brought up Game of Thrones. We brought up Game of Thrones and Peter Dinklage. Did you watch the trailer for that Tiptoes movie that I sent you? No. Okay. Didn't watch it yet. I mean, we could fire it up on here if you want. How long is it? Oh, the sound will probably be screwed up. I don't know what's going on with this board. I'm about to throw it away. The I, I watched it, and if you if you guys haven't, I mean, I never heard of this. I sent it to TJ too. Okay, and he's like, "Holy crap! How have I not heard about this movie?" Um, and basically, the premise of the movie is, and it's got like Matthew McConaughey stars in it, Kate Beckinsale's in it, Gary Oldman's in it. Uh, Peter Dinklage, Patricia Arquette. It's got, and I feel like I can say this because it's her stage name. Like she goes by this name. Um, the, the the porn star Bridget the Midget is in it. That's her actual name. Yeah, that's what she goes by. So if if you were to look up her her videos, that's what oh, it's oh, under. Oh, it says like lyrics. There's like a song by Ray Stevens. I mean, what the hell? There's a song named after this her name was bridget powers in real life yeah uh jason i'm drinking the season holiday beer from shiner the peach and pecan is good beer oh yeah those are good ones 
Oh, I know this chick. She was in the, she was in the league. She was in the league. She was a uh, Rafi and a uh, dirty Randy's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, and the premise of the movie is Matthew McConaughey. Everybody in his family is a dwarf. Mm. And I, I, I don't, it's like, it's a romantic drama that tries to be serious, but I just, it's just funny. And like, just the trailer itself is just wheels off. Like, yeah. and spoiler, Gary Oldman plays a, plays a, a little person. Matthew McConaughey's twin brother, actually. So yeah, it's, I mean, you watch the trailer and you're just like, holy crap. For, the first thing you think of is, was this a Saturday night live bit? Like that's what you think. Like you, you don't think this is a real thing, yeah. but yeah, no, it's it's a real movie. It's on Amazon Prime. You can watch it, and it's just uh, the only way I can think of to describe it is magical. God, uh, uh, uh. uh, Jason, I'm actually looking forward to getting to the the holiday beer from Shire. Uh, yeah, I, I I saw it this weekend. I think I'm just gonna get the uh, the holiday pack. I'm probably go up there tomorrow or something like that during lunch just so I can secure it. Because I, I definitely want to go through it and have some, uh, and, and probably get me some some Shiner cheer as well. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. I just haven't. I've been trying to push off the holiday, like Christmas stuff, because I given Thanksgiving it's due. Yeah, but, geez, give it the respect it deserves. It's just everything's uh, ugh, getting crammed down the throat with all this Christmas stuff. <laughs> it's like good golly. Anyways. Yeah, I'm trying. I watched. Uh, here's some movie I want. I, I fired up. Uh, I did watch Plane, Trains, and Automobiles. Okay. Uh, Monday, I think. I haven't. I haven't fired that up yet, but I will. And then I went directly to uh, Christmas Vacation. <laughs> oh my gosh! I actually <laughs> just got done talking about how you're pushing it back to give well, Thanksgiving the respect it's due. You yeah. do that. You slap it in the face, <laughs> and, and and you watch Christmas Vacation. Like, well, I turned it on. I didn't necessarily watch it. Like I laid there and watched the entire planes, trains, and automobiles. Right. With the, with Chris vacation is like, Oh, something watch this next. Okay. And then I watched like five seconds of it and I was in and out of the room. And then eventually I just turned off. Cause it was like Monday night football and whatnot. So. Oh, speaking of Melton, Melton, we've been talking about you, brother. What is up? How are you doing? Melton? Hope you're doing good. Uh, Jason said he had one of those mini kegs from specs. There you go. Yep. Those, yeah, Specs has them. Um, Total Wine, yeah, those are cool. I like those little mini, those little mini kegs. They're fun. Yeah, they keep the beer fresh. I mean, as long as you drink it, I think within a week. I think I, I wouldn't go further than a week, unless you have like your own little um, carbonated CO two you know, growler. Kind of yeah, I mean that'll keep it fresh. Uh, we actually have one. I gotta find it because I gotta ship it to old school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know because that's he won a he won a contest but I, everything i had in that room i don't know where any of that stuff oh is. yeah that's right okay i was like what yeah. i was like yeah no i know what you're talking about now yeah i have no idea where it's at so and then i gotta start uh, i'll tell you something else i'm also just i'm starting to just i'm gonna sell everything or throw everything away like i'm done like even lizzie's like at the point now where she's like yeah i'm going through all these shelves and, and cabinets and everything like that we are getting rid of stuff i go sounds good to me like finally finally well, good luck with that. Because um, saying it and doing it are two different things, right? Yeah. Uh, you watching? You watching the fight on Friday? Yeah, of course. It's Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's an underdog. You know, he's fifty eight years old. Lizzie's watching yeah. the Netflix uh, special right now, and it's like, yeah. If you're our age, I think if you're over the age of like say thirty something, like thirty five. You're you're rooting for Mike Tyson, right? Yeah. If, you're, if you're a child, you're in your twenties or a bro or you know, whatever. You're you're rooting for whatever the hell his name is. You know what I mean? Jake, I think. I think this one's Jake. I was like, listen, she had the she had that the special on, and I'm like, this guy's already got CTE. Like he talks like he's knocked down a peg. <laughs> he's not fast, right? He might be fast in boxing. I don't but, think he, he's not the smarter of the two brothers. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. I was like, oh boy, but yeah, he had his um, speed skating girlfriend there, and 
she's just smiling and nodding or whatever. I don't know if, you know if she knows what he's saying, you know. I don't know if she's been they sound like they've been medicated. That's what they sound like. They sound like they are tripping balls. But, just hey man. Um Jason, have you guys been to the place Brutal Beer was? Um, they just he just changed the name on there, but it's he just changed it to uh, Grain Slayer. And if you look at the page, I think that's his going to be because the one thing he talked about was doing a bunch of home brewing stuff with the page. So I think that's what this is: is the transformation over to the home brewing aspect of things. Uh, but he hasn't really said anything but no there's not a new location or or anything like that i know that's kind of his goal at a, a certain point in time is to, to reopen and you know learn from his past mistakes and things like that but um yeah it's a different location don't yep. hire crazy people hey uh so he's asking if you've seen the place have you driven by there is anybody there I don't think any. No, it's still got the brutal sign up and everything. So, so. The brutal sign? okay. Roll, roll. Yeah. Do, do me a solid. You know, whenever you know, out and about tomorrow, just roll through the parking lot. I just want to see what's up. Okay. Take a sad picture in front of the door too, and then email it to. Okay. He is a cool guy. Eric yeah. is a I freaking love that guy. And all Alan did was kick him in the balls for four hours when they shut it down <laughs> and drank all his beer for free. You know what I mean? Like just unbelievable yeah it, he's in my guy. defense it was everybody else too uh -huh. so uh -huh. including you so don't even don't even try and high road me. i took my shots every time but i always followed up with a hug i was like i love you buddy. yeah same we, here same we went here. Took the tip probably 30 times that night it was oh yeah it was wild i was like jesus <laughs> yeah. yeah alan just kept i mean shooting from the head like dude it was and it was some like some agree, like crazy, sh crazy shit. You know what I mean? Like the stuff he was saying. I was like, I couldn't even believe. It. I was appalled. Yeah. So, I was like, the guy's losing, up. losing all this or whatever. You just sitting there, just kicking away. Like he was kicking ball. back. Don't act like he was just taking it. He was fighting back. So he should. Well, he should have. You know. Yeah. He no. better. Yeah. It, it was with all due respect. <laughs> yeah, that's how you start. With all due respect. How do you feel it? Do you, you know, whatever. I mean, Jesus, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to. I don't it. even remember, you know. Well, shocking. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm that night was an embarrassment for yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've, been, I've been way worse than that, but that's the point. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I was uh, reminiscing to the first time we went live out there. It was 9-11 oh, uh, um, about four, yeah. uh, four years ago. We called his mom. Yeah. Called his mom. <laughs> Had a lot of like all of our friends and stuff. You know, people showed up and whatnot. It was it was a fun night. It really was. It was a good time. And then, I'm, of course, I'm liquored up so bad. I'm like hanging out of the car, but not the way you think. I'm not like yakking all over the side. I'm like hold on to the roof rack. Like you know, windows open, the sunroofs open. We're like got the radio blaring. Thank God, Lizzie. Yeah, I was, I was just dude, it's pumping, beating the beat. <laughs> jesus yeah he had a lot a lot of good memories out there i hope like i hope the best for him obviously um yeah. he, he brewed some damn good beer and yeah. i'm telling you when you when you went out there early on and he was a hundred percent in charge of doing all you know he wasn't in, in brewing and all that it was damn good yep so yeah it just you know he'll he be he'll be fine and yeah i hope he hope he does open up a new place um you know, and he, like he said, he's going to learn from his mistakes and he's going to have come back stronger. I hope he does. I really do because he's yeah. got the talent for it. Yeah. We actually got to get him on because he talked about joining us afterwards and we just, we're horrible about following up with things, you know? Yeah. Uh, so we just got to follow up with him and get him on and just, just talk. I don't ask him what the hell Grain Slayer is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Like, hey, buddy, what, what are we doing here? Yeah. We slaying? That's yeah. not what we talked about, Slane, buddy. <laughs> You're into all my old brutal crap now because it's just outdated. It's not even got the new logo on it or nothing. You know, it's not even cool anymore. I don't Ridiculous. even. I'll throw away that hat. I'll take a sharpie and draw all over it now. <laughs> <laughs> I should do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do. If we ever meet up and we know that we're gonna meet up with him, I'm gonna have Lizzie make me a shirt. Those grain slayers. <laughs> It's gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna have his logo right. You know, I'll do the small one on the front and the big one on the back. You know, 
and maybe I'll put like suck it brutal or something underneath of it or something. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> brutal suck. <laughs> brutal suck. <laughs> Ah, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. That's probably what I'm going to do. Probably. <laughs> I mean, it's a solid plan. Um, Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, How have a- you been enjoying this weather here lately? Um, You know, it keeps getting cooler. And you know us. We're all about that hoodie weather, right? So I think tomorrow morning is supposed to be like 40-something uh, or the day after that. So I'm I'm really am looking fun or looking forward to it. Uh, I just want it cold. You know what I mean? I don't if I can't get in the pool, then I just want it cold. And it, it plus it helps wear it, a hoodie and start a fire and, you know, just live life. I want That's the it. fires out back. You know what I mean? And, and the kids have been talking about doing like a, having s'mores and stuff like, and so I was like, maybe this weekend. Um, and then of course this weekend we have a company event. We're going to go to six flags. And, are, are you guys, are you going this year? Uh, I think so. Cause I'm going to go get the, I want to, I want to know about the uh, season passes this year. Okay. <laughs> and because they didn't put how much they were they've always been like 29 39 bucks or whatever right. but i know they just did like a merger got bought out and i don't know if it's going to include all the parts so i'm just going to go check it out and if the weather's nice we'll go walk it's around go- it's supposed to be gorgeous yeah so so i'm gonna i'll, I'll probably go out there for that i'm not gonna stay long it's excuse me it's football sunday right lizzie was like we ain't hanging out long i was like oh that's fine you know but i want to get the you know if the season passes are reasonable. We'll get them for all the kids and whatnot, so they can go up there whenever they want. Yeah. So we'll we, uh, this is the one time of year that we that we really go. Like we don't we don't go any other time of the year because it's just like the oldest has gone a few times, and she's like, it sucks because there's lines when you go outside of because when the company does, it's just our company there, and so like they'll get on roller coasters and they don't even have to get off to to ride it again they're like hey you want to go again they're like yeah i want to go again and so they they do that and so this is really the one time and you know me and the missus both work for the company so each kid brings two friends and they just kind of they have fun you know so we're missing part of a tournament on sunday for it but it's like it's the one time a year that we uh that we go so yeah. and that's why i'm looking for those those passes because i think you know like this year i wanted to go for for fright fest and i was like you know what i wish i had it and then if i get them i'm going to go to the holiday in the park see all the lights all that kind of stuff probably take the younger ones with us and you know walk around have a little hot chocolate or something you know just yeah just hang out i don't get on the rides anymore dude unless i, I, I don't either I, I walk around with the little one and her and her friends ride the rides and i just i pop a squat and i sit there and i normally got football up on my phone and then you know people walk by and I'll, I'll talk to people while the kids are on the, on the rides and then, okay, which one are we going to next? And I just go and Yeah. Um, Jason said, what did you take um, from Harbinger? I have the Kolsch. That's what I took. Kolsch? Adam, okay. Adam can up a Kolsch. Did you take with RD from Harbinger? Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah, just I'm, assuming he was just asking what you, what you got. Yeah. The Kolsch I'll do a, um, you know, I've been doing Friday night, um, you know, happy hours and things like that. I, I'll, right. I'm going to do, instead of probably doing a live, I'll do a recording and I'll post okay. it and tag them and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I just, yeah, I took the Kolsch and it was tasty. That was my favorite. So, and then the other place, Lost Street, I had two, we shared two uh, flights. Okay. So Lizzie was not impressed with a lot of them. And so, but they had a hell of a selection. So maybe it was just me picking, you know, styles that she doesn't like but yeah that's what i took okay good night, good night. you're asking like who did i talk to I, I, that's what i kind of thought uh if you're if that's what you're asking there was a the, there was a dude uh bald dude with a beard behind the bar and then a woman there that was talking to him the whole time they, it, they made a comment and so they're not the owners but they know the owners and some other dude walked in too but yeah no that's uh that's who was there wasn't i mean hell it was just those two and then some other lady showed up she left and we left and then another guy and of course, when Lizzie has a couple of drinks, she's like, "Yeah, no, we have a podcast." And they're like, "Oh, yeah, what's the name?" I go, "Oh, Jesus Christ!" And he goes, "Oh, Jesus Christ!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a religious. religious yeah. Want to check it out? Praise hands. Uh, praise hands. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but yeah, no, I'm looking forward to the, keeping the weather right where it is. Get a little bit colder. Um, I don't want it to get too cold too soon, just because you know that that the freeze that we had a couple of years ago, even like. Uh, you know, 
a couple of years ago, not even the big freeze from 2020, 2021, but, uh, you know, had some busted pipes, you know, around right. the pool and whatnot. And I was like, Jesus, man, I had, and I fixed all that stuff myself for some reason. I was like, yeah, I'm not, let me just go ahead and fix it, you know, but I should have <laughs> called somebody. But anyhow, but yeah, I, I don't want it to do that, but I want it to get cold. I want to, I want it to be chilly in the morning, you know. <laughs> Just want That's to- it. Yeah. And like, it's, it's the weather's been beautiful. Like it's been the mid seventies, low seventies. I mean, it's been, it's been gorgeous. If I, if I can hold on to this for a few more weeks, we gotta, we got one more tournament, like the beginning of December. And if we can get through that before it gets really, really cold, I'll be all right. Like, but it's, it's just nice. Like in the mornings, I put hoodie on in the morning when I take the kiddo to school here lately. And it's, it's been all right. It's been yeah. All right. And so, play. You know, when it gets this late in the year as well, we we tend to go play softball, uh, slow pitch softball yeah. up in Grapevine, right off the lake, and so it'll be a little breezy out that way. But it's out there, yeah. It's our time to kind of get back on the field. So if we do miss a couple streams, that's where we'll be. Maybe we'll make them up the day before or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I like those nights. Some of them, been, man, you remember some of those Februarys where it was just like or Januarys, and it's like thirty degrees, twenty degrees. It's, wind's blowing like crazy it's like oh my god get me out of here <laughs> but we still sit there and drink it's like <laughs> still got i mean we can't win the game so we gotta try and win the double header you know yeah. um <laughs> we were this close last time these other guys they wouldn't leave they wouldn't so leave close. so close mm-hmm. man um right now uh well i was talking about 3d prints earlier now hey. you, you got your hands on the 3d prints where are those two antique malls that you set them all up at uh, so we've got Lone Star Antique Mall, which is out there in Haltom City off of Denton Highway in 820. Um, and then Mid-Cities Antique Mall is over in Hearst off of um, Pipeline and Precinct Line. Um, and I've got booths set up in both of those where prints in, in both. So, some have different prints than other ones, right? Because um, I'll set one up, set some stuff up at this one for a little while. And if it doesn't move... I'll move it over to the other one and vice versa. Move the stuff kind of back and forth. But it's not just the prints like uh, Funko Pops, uh, comic books, uh, cards, sports cards, comic book cards, uh, collectibles, action figures, all kinds of shit. Anything I can get my hands on. Um, yeah, I was, that's what I'm going to say. I was like, make sure, you, you know, I know there's other stuff you got out there. I was like, I didn't know what else. You know, it's funny. I saw a, um, a Pez dispenser, but it's the big one. So yeah. the Pez Canyon, it was a Pikachu one. Uh, and I was like, damn it. I was like, you know what? Like, I bet you I could, you know, send this off to Alan and make some money on it or something like that. But I left it laying where it was like, all right, you know, but it's like, just, I think it's just because my house is packed. I got no room for anything, but I mean, I'm probably going to have some, some old stuff and some old gaming equipment and whatnot that I'm going to have to get rid of and just be like, you know what? I'm done, I'm done for a while. I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I could let go of some of the, some of this stuff. Yeah, you, uh, did you ever buy that uh, that N64 that I sent you? That those uh, uh, they, they never. Someone probably got to it before me. I messaged them. They never messaged me back. So I've been keeping my eyes open for for that. Like I want to get that and Nintendo Super Nintendo. I was able to pick up a PlayStation Two not that long ago. Got a good deal on one of the slim ones with a ton of games. Um, but yeah, I've been I keep my eyes open and you know I'll hit. Every once in a while, one will show up on Facebook Marketplace that's reasonably priced, and but usually, someone else has already gotten to it, right? And so you gotta, you gotta get those as soon as they get on there because people are just sitting there just watching for that stuff. Yeah, yeah. to try and get them. And so. same way, and I'm not even trying to flip it. I want, I'm like when I buy stuff like that, it's like no, it's for me. You know, it's to add to the collection, and uh, you know, because I can't really go to a normal store and buy it because it's already marked up so freaking much. So I'm like hoping that someone just is selling it and I can go and pick it up or whatever. But yeah, but, and occasionally I'll run into it at like garage sales or estate sales. Like there was one this last weekend that I went to and they had a bunch of I uh, picked up a few GameCube games, but those were more so to resell because I don't have a GameCube, but they were good deals. And I was like, OK, I can resell these. Uh, they had some Xboxes. Um, there and i was like i kind of wanted them but where they had them priced at i was like that's a little bit out of my price range and then the next day everything was going to be half off so i was like okay if i can get there and get them for half off i'm in and someone just got there before me and got to them so but it but it was also one of those where i didn't know if they worked or not so you got to be kind of cautious when you especially some of those older systems when you're buying them like 
whether it works or not. Like you'll have some people that will have like a Nintendo price at like three hundred dollars, and it's just the console. They don't have any of the cables or anything like that. And I'm like, buddy, I can buy the whole setup for cheaper than that. Like, yeah. Jason, what is going on over there on Instagram, brother? How have you been? It's good to see you. We were actually talking about brutal not too long ago. Yeah. What's up, brother? Yeah. Hope you're doing good, Jason. I feel you, man. I do. And it's like at least some people are just nuts. Oh, I was talking to the guys at Empire Toys out at Cowtown this last year. They had a booth set up out there and was talking to them and uh, you know, talking about finding, you know, collections and things like that. And I was like, some of these people, like uh, I came across this guy that had a bunch of Ninja Turtle stuff. But it didn't have like any of the accessories. Some of the guys were missing arms and legs. He's like, "Yeah, no, I know what I have. This is it for for all these. It's like six hundred dollars." I'm like, "Buddy, you oh. don't know what you have because Stu doesn't have an arm. You don't have any of the accessories. Like, if you had the accessories and they were complete, okay. Now we're talking. But it, Splinter doesn't have a head. Like missing parts and he's missing arms." Because right. I know what I have. I okay. I have. I'm like, no, okay. I'm, I'm not reading that. You I you obviously that. don't, but that's cool. That's cool. Like and yeah, and they were talking to they were talking about they were talking to this one lady about she had a ton of um herpes. Star Wars figures. No, probably that too, but Star Wars figures, but it was like from the from the, the like nineties when they were all like mass produced, right? Uh, from the the newer trilogy, and she's like, "Yeah, no, I this is the." And he's like, "That's actually not." She's like, "Well, look," and she's showing them like you know stuff on eBay, but she's showing them this is what people are asking for it. And he's like, "Yeah, no, that's cool. Push that button right there. Scroll down and push the sold button. That's what they're actually selling for." Yeah, people can ask for that all day long, but they're not going to get it. Like. So yeah, uh, what we got here? Whiskey pros in the house. Uh, what? What? No, I'm not reading that. You go ahead. <laughs> well, uh, tongue tickle my fart box and call me Arnold. It's the Strikeout Boys. Hello, gents, and Billy Joe's in the house with How about them Chiefs? Um, <laughs> whiskey always gives me. <laughs> it's like how did you watch the movie yet, whiskey? Did you watch it yet? I assume like he as soon as he got home last night. He fired that that movie up because like his response to me was, "How have I never heard of this movie before?" Oh God! And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I wish we knew. I I wish we knew. Like that's something I would expect to have found out from whiskey. Like honestly. <laughs> but Jesus, oh my God! All right, let's move along to. Uh, have you watched any Mavericks game, Stars game, anything like that? No, no, not not a one. Even that, as easy as they make it, you can watch it now. You know, with Victory Plus, like yeah, it's just no, sitting I'm, right there, man. I love the alerts to, too. I'm I'm just not home to to sit down and watch the stuff. You know, mm-hmm. I don't I don't get to watch a lot of stuff at, at at in the evening time. Most of my TV watching is is done during the day, but even that's just kind of like halfway watching, right? Same it's just kind of in the background. Uh, Billy Joe Patrick, why do chicken coops only have two doors? Because if they had four. They would be chicken sedans. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like that. <laughs> that was a little delayed on the laugh there, though, buddy. <laughs> this bad joke is brought to you by JB Carts. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram and at jbcarts.com. I, it took me a second. Yeah, it took me a minute to get there. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Stars are currently third in the West in the Central Division. Uh, Mavs are 11th in the West, and uh, you know after that, Clay Thompson went home. They played a, a I almost said Green Bay. <laughs> they played Golden State last night, and of course they're pretty much winning. You know, not you know, they're kind of staying in it, whatever. Then all of a sudden, Steph just takes over. You know, just takes over the game, wins it in like the last couple minutes. Luca's got zero defense. It's just. Like, dude, come on, man. Like, it's right back to where we were last year. I'm not going to harp on it too much. I'll talk more about it in another stream. But I was just like, Jesus, man. Like, it's the same stuff. It's him being, he's too busy. And he's, not only is he bad at defense because he's like, doesn't care or whatever. He's too busy complaining to the refs. So, like, his guy that he's supposed to cover just goes right down the freaking, well, <laughs> nails a layup or a jumper. It's like, good God, man. And then he commits a foul. 
and then runs over to Jason Kidd's like, no, 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 challenge that. I didn't foul that guy. I didn't foul that guy. And then Jason Kidd's like, okay, I'll, I'll trust you, Luca, which is dumb. Because every time he challenges it, he loses. <laughs> They're like, no, no, that was a foul. Like, the the, the re- they go and look at the replay for like two seconds. And they're like, oh, no, you can't karate chop somebody, Luca. That's that's against the rules. Sorry, buddy. God. And then Jason Kidd loses a challenge every time. It's like, at a certain point in time, you just got to go up to Luca and be like, look, buddy, here's the thing. You're not good at determining whether or not you fouled somebody or not because you foul them every time. Every freaking time. Here's the last 10 plays you asked me to challenge and that we lost. I'm no longer challenging it when you asked me to. <laughs> like at a certain point in time, kids got to have that conversation with them, yeah. right? And be like, "Look, buddy, your track record's not that great. I get it. Shooters got to shoot, but I'm not shooting this shot anymore." Like, <laughs> done, done. Go ahead and hit that uh, real quick. Yeah, uh, Billy Joe eighty eight is is in here. Uh, a three foot three inch man knocked at my door this morning. I said, who are you? He said, I'm the meter man. <laughs> Not as good as the coop and sedan one, though. But I, I still, I chuckled. I chuckled. Just three foot three inches is a meter. So yeah, yeah. just in case you didn't know, um, <laughs> that's why that joke's funny. <laughs> uh, but uh, so we were watching the game. Uh, Winnipeg beat the brakes off the stars Saturday night. And then the Stars, I think it was last night or the night before, they scored, I think it was, yeah, two nights before, they scored like seven goals. They six, beat six in one period. Dude, they beat the hell out of, I think it was the Bruins or something. I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, I was like, oh, my God. It was absolutely bon- It was bonkers. So, yeah, hockey's been good. Basketball is kind of like, eh, whatever. Cowboys are absolutely in disarray. Dak, oh, uh, we talked about him. Huh? Fun fact, the Stars scored more goals that game than the Cowboys scored points in their last game. Yeah, that's a, and they posted. It goes, who scored a touchdown today? <laughs> it was like these guys. It was the stars, not the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah the stars. Uh, Dak's got to have season-ending surgery to repair his hamstring that Allen says fell off the bone. Uh, so he's done. Cooper Rush is there. They're 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 in trouble. The season's over. Um, you know, he got paid, and he's like, you know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> he's like, like, I got paid. Let me go tear my hammy off the bone. I'm sure that's not what he did. Like, let me ask you this: Should they tank? One, should they tank? Yeah. Two, if they're tanking, should they tank for Shador and then bring in prime time to coach? How not, that would be the going. absolute circus. So, and, and Jerry would love it. They're not going to draft Shador because they just paid Dak, right? Uh, unless they're able to pull a trade and trade Dak, which that they would have to do that. Because here's the thing: Shador would be like, "I'm not coming there. I'm not playing." He wants to go somewhere where he's going to play. Um, he'll pull an Eli, be like, "I'm not playing for you." Like, it's all there is to it. Uh, I do like. I would like to see Dion here. With Dallas, I think that'd be fun. Like the circus that it is right now, but you know I mean? but with even I, more does, with more <laughs> flair. <laughs> does Dion come here though? Because he's not going to get the control that he wants. Because I think Dion's going to want some control. Like, and that's the thing. Like when you're when you're you're talking about all these teams that have kind of turned things around. A lot of these teams, like the Texans, what did they go and do? They went and they brought in a former player to to coach the Lions. They brought in a former player to coach. They're bringing in players that know about this city, care about that city, and and want to to completely rebuild, get a new culture going, things like that. So if you look at Dallas, okay, you're gonna you want to bring in a former player. I mean, Dion's kind of the top candidate based off of you know former players, you know. Uh, Witten's out there coaching, but he's just coaching high school ball right now. Um, n- n- and I don't think Witten would come here. Like, I don't think there's a chance in hell Witten would come here to coach. Oh, yeah. Um, and he's not, he's, he's not a big enough stage anyways. He's not there yet, right? And Dion's already there. You know what I mean? He's – and Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would. I think it would be a lot of fun to have Dion here. 
Yeah, Dion. Can you imagine press conferences with Dion and Jerry? <laughs> That'd be amazing. That'd be awesome, right? Like, but but here's the thing, and like I kind of talked about it. We talked about it during the the fantasy football podcast, where if you're a player like Micah is going to be the next player that they they've got, they're going to have to back up the truck for. If you're Micah, you say, "Hey, part of my contract is you have to put curtains up, the 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 block the sun, because." That that was a huge play because at that point in time, that's for the lead. That's early in the game. That's for the lead. That changes the way that game goes. Now, I'm not saying the Cowboys are going to win it, but it's going to be a whole hell of a lot closer than what it was, yeah. right? What's up, Killer? Killer Browns is in the house. What is up, brother? He says, what's up, knuckleheads? What's up, buddy? Um, but if you're Dion, you tell Jerry, look, we're putting up curtains. I'm not coming here unless you're putting up curtains. And that's what's gonna it's gonna take somebody coming in and saying part of my contract is you're putting up curtains. Bottom line. Yeah. If, if you're not gonna put them up, I'm not signing. I don't care how much money you throw at me, I'm not doing it. I'm not or, or, no. Someone else will throw that same amount of money at me. And they won't have to put up curtains because they're smarter when they design their stadium. Yeah. And if you think about like with Dak, there's there's a team out there that would take him. You know, as bad oh. as he actually is, but there's a lot of other there's worse teams. And yeah, as as bad as he is, but he's it's also as good as he is, right? He's still a good quarterback. He's I would love to see him in a functional fran with a functional franchise mm-hmm. that knows how to build a team, right? Like knows the right way to do it, puts a good team around him, but no, he's here in Dallas. Like, I mean, we talked about it like before he signed this contract. Like, if he go, if he becomes a free agent, he was going to become a Raider. The Raiders would have backed the truck up for him. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're you're telling me Raiders fans wouldn't kill to have Dak as their quarterback, and they'd they pay. Would. Yeah, they'd pay. They'd take. They, the, they'd take the contract as it is right now. They legit would murder somebody for that. <laughs> like, that's a fan base that would legit murder somebody for him. Oh God! Uh, let's see here. We've got uh, Billy Joe's back here. Uh, my neighbor's wife was upset this morning. It seems that she had told her husband that she hated electric cars. She said he grabbed his man purse, put his hair in a man bun, and said when the car charged in eight hours, he was out of there. <laughs> you you don't have to put like man purse and man bun and everything in front of you. you just you know. I think everything else would be fine. Because he's a man. And so they, it's, it's a man a purse. You just call it a purse. purse. Not. It's no. well done. Put his hair in a no. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how the purse identifies. So God. Uh, are we doing picks tonight? We can. Yeah. We can picks together. Yeah, we can do that and then we'll uh we'll call tonight. Okay, okay wait, <laughs> I'll retype it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you don't have to retype it, Billy Joe. No, no, no. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Normally, you'd have like you got Bears, Packers, but uh, Packers. Oh, here's a fun fact for you. Roger says, yeah, he's probably playing next year. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, you got Chiefs and Bills. You got Seahawks and Niners. Texas and Cal. Well, Texas Cal. You got Bengals, Chargers. There's some okay. I mean, I mean okay. it starts with tomorrow. Commanders and Eagles. Yeah, got to put that in there as one. Yeah. Who's on a bye week this week that we... Uh, um, and the Commanders are getting three and a half points in that one. Uh, we got the Jags v. Lions, which we got to do, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's 13 and a half point spread. Ooh, buddy. 13 and a half. I don't know if it's enough. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know if it's I enough. I love getting up on like really terrible teams, but Jesus, I don't think they could do it. I mean, you score two touchdowns there. Are they even going to score? They didn't even score a touchdown. What did they get last week? Did, uh, man, I don't think, I don't think anybody got in the end. So, God. Uh, by the way, this is another Halloween and no rapid Dave mask. Oh, yes, I forgot. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see here. here. Damn it. Hashtag for this. Thanks, Billy Joe. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Oh, we let's got do, some good names. Let's do Bills Chiefs. That's the other one. Or, or you want to do Seahawks Niners? 
Bills yeah, and Chiefs. Oh, Bill, Bills and Chiefs. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. come on, man. Yeah. All right. So uh, there's our five games. And then hold on. Let me let me write this down. Yeah. 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 And then the Bengals v. Chargers. What's the spread on that one? The Bengals are getting Pickle? one and a half. Okay. All right. So let's start off at the top. We've got the Commanders and the Eagles. The Commanders are getting three and a half points. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and go out there, and I'm just going to tell you, I like the Commanders, and I think the Commanders, they, I don't even think they need the three and a half points. Give me the Commanders to win this game. But if you're going to give me three and a half points, I'm taking three and a half points. Bill Patrick, test, test. We got you, buddy. Coming in loud and clear. Are the Commanders the team that hasn't beat a winning record team yet? I don't, I don't know. Someone mentioned that the other day. And it's like now it's stuck in my head. But I can't remember if it was them or somebody else. Like they barely beat the Bears a couple weeks ago. Yeah, but they did. They barely beat the Giants. They okay. Steelers beat them this past week. They don't do good on the road. How many points? Three and a half. Damn it. That's that's uh, here's here's the coin. You ready? The uh, away team. They want Washington as well. Anders, okay. Um. Let me let me check the Eagles real quick. You know, you, you catch me off guard here, and I, I figure I want to see. I just want to see what's going on in Philly world. We'll get uh, the touchdown brothers on the horn. Uh, yeah, I'll, that's fine. Give me uh, Philly to cover. Okay, All that's right. enough. I've seen enough. Okay, uh, and then and then the Jags and the Lions. Thirteen. The Jags are getting thirteen and a half. Yeah, I don't care. I would start getting concerned if it was at twenty one. Well, yeah, uh, I'll give me the uh, the Lions, please. It's just it's not a, and <sighs> home team, the Lions. Okay, all yeah. right. And, and here's the thing: like they're also going to be looking to like kind of like rebound, right? After you know their performances last week. Although I mean, the defense played great. Oh, it was terrible. Uh, but the offense, but the offense is going to be looking like, hey, look, we're going to get back on track, and they're just going to take it out on Jack that Jacksonville defense. Like I, I feel bad for them. Uh, Bill Patrick had a colonoscopy this week. Made the doctor write a note to the wife that my head was not up there. <laughs> uh, Ravens are traveling to Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. The Steelers are getting three points. That's the game you picked? Oh, we got yeah. two. Okay, that and the Chiefs and Bills. Okay, I got you. Who's getting yeah. the points? The Steelers are getting three. Those are two good teams. They are good teams. Like no, they somehow. want to will, but yeah. the St- Mike Tomlin is he's a hell of a coach. Like, dude always gets the best out of his teams. The only thing I can ever see with Bill or with Tomlin or whatever was he try to trip that guy on the sideline when he was running down the field. Um, are you are you go first on this one? Um, do I go first? I go first. Uh, because I went first with the first one. That, yeah, I'm gonna take the Ravens. Yeah, <clears throat> they're just a better team. I think it'll be a close game, but I, they'll they'll. Went by six. How about that? They just lost. They, they barely beat them. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ravens. Yeah, no problem. Ravens, please. Thank you very much. Okay. What's the coin say? Oh, sorry about that. Let me see. The coin's ready. Coin flips. <laughs> What's it on? It landed. It did land like this on the ground. Okay. And that is. Wait, team. Away team, so and that you, is the Ravens. Yeah, if you want me to flip it again, I'll flip it again. But yeah, oh, I was like, I look down, I look down, I go, huh, okay. <laughs> you, you, there's no benefit for you for lying to what the coin says. Like, well, I, I was like, I'll free flip, flip it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. All right, all right, uh, Chiefs it. versus the Bills. The Chiefs are getting two points. I'm, I'm going to ride them out until they lose. Why? Why would I? Why would I pick against the Chiefs? Give me the chefs. I, I'm going to go with the Bills. I just. Yeah, I guess you have to. They're in Buffalo. It's time. It's time. I've said it too many years that it's time, and I'm done with saying it's time. Like, it's just over. They barely beat. It's it's regular season. <sighs> if this was the playoffs, it's a different story. A regular season game. Yeah, give me the Bills to win it. They haven't Bills beat. Bills win by three. By three. They win by three? Oh, they get three and a half? They oh, get wait. two. Two? The Chiefs are getting two. Uh, all right. Fine. You only need to watch the, the final 30 seconds of the Chiefs game, and you'll see five no calls against the Chiefs in that 30 well, seconds. If the Chiefs have the ball, you'll see the calls and no yeah. calls. All right, all right. Here goes the, the coin. 
Home team. And last but not least, we got the Bengals playing the Chargers. The Bengals are getting one and a half. I like that. Um, your boy Justin's starting to play a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, give me Chargers. Yeah. So we'll turn it around. They beat the Titans by ten. They beat the chart or beat the Browns by seventeen. Beat the Saints by twenty. Got beat by the Cardinals. I mean, you can see they're they're starting to peak, but I mean the Saints do suck. So do the Browns. Titans are a, her- a horrible team. They are at home. I eh. mean, points one and a half. The Bengals are getting one and a half. Yeah. Coin goes home team. The Chargers. I think I gotta go. I'm gonna go Chargers so that the Bengals actually win this game. No, that's not how this is gonna work. <laughs> they hear you're, you're putting your logic out there. That's not how this works. <laughs> when it's your team, right? Like, come on. Yeah, Chargers. I think I. I, I already wrote it down. I wouldn't so. be surprised if uh, the the Bengals do win, but yeah, the Chargers I, are peaking. They're peaking at the right time. They're peaking at the right time. Chargers are. It's a team that. You didn't really think much of at the beginning of the year, but they're six and three. Yeah. So they're six and they're, three now, they're, man. They're, they're pretty good. They got a tough little schedule here. I'd say even if, if let's say the Bengals are easy or an easier team, they got the Ravens the following week. They got they got to go to Atlanta. They got to go to Kansas City. They host the Bucks, host the uh, the Broncos, head up to New England, and then at least they get the Raiders on the fifth. January. And New England's kind of a yeah. I'm not worried about. You have decent defense. You got to go up there. You got to go to the cold New England for December 29th. That's kind of tough, but yeah, I mean that's that's kind of how. Hey, if they get through this and make it out the other side, they're they're definitely a playoff team. You know what I mean? That's that's tough. That's tough games right there. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Cool. Well, that's it. That'll do it. That's that's it. That's all we got here. Oh, well, do you want to save your one? You, you had one topic left. You want to save that for a Patreon? What was it? The language barrier. <laughs> um, we can. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, just real quick, actually, uh, we'll we'll yeah. we'll do it now because it's not like a full on have a discussion <laughs> type thing. But I was at the gym, and this guy walks in, and scans a different uh, barcode for another gym. And the guy's like, hey, um, that's not for here. He goes, what is that? You know, whatever. And he's like, someone just texted me saying I'm five minutes away. Hey, it Lily, I'm five minutes away. Who the hell is Lily? Uh, I hope hey. Lizzie's not home because that's not going to work out. <laughs> I hope Lizzie is home. Not for Lily at all. <laughs> Lily at the door. <laughs> It's going to be a, a, a murder over at your house. <laughs> and so the guy's like, hey, you know, it, that's not it. He, he just kind of like makes kind of a grunt and like a confused face look or whatever and just says, and he scans it again and starts to walk off. The guy's like, hey, no, no, hey, that's, that's, this is not here. You know, whatever. You're not, this is not, you're, you're supposed to be at another place. This is not this gym. And so I was thought to myself, I'm like, I wonder how many times this guy just plays that shit. Like I'm just gonna do what I want, or I didn't know it was ten items or less, or this and just acts like I don't, you know, he doesn't give a shit. He's just gonna do what he wants, and he just blames it on say a language barrier. I was like, have you ever seen anybody just blatantly do that? Oh, um, just act dumb and just be like, oh, oh okay. No, I, I, I don't think so. Like I'm just trying. Like I, I've seen people just you know, ignore it, right? Like. You know, if I'm walking out Walmart and they're like, hey, I need to see your receipt. And I'm like, no, thanks. I'm good. And I just keep walking. Right. <laughs> I need to see your receipt. No, I don't. No, I'm good. <laughs> I just keep... or, or the good one is like, I'll It'd be it used to be like you if you paid with your phone, you'd get a receipt on your phone. But then it would also print out a receipt. And so I'd be walking out like I need to see your receipt. And I would just hand it to him and just keep walking. And they'd be like, sir, your receipt, you need it. I was like, nah, no, you need it more than I do. You're the one who asked for it. Like, I did that last night. Someone's like, you know, hey, can I see your receipt? I handed it to him and kept going. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not returning this crap. There you go. <laughs> but I mean, and here's the thing, like with the way, the way it is now, you don't have to have your receipt to return it. And like, you can get your money back because now they can just pull up all the transactions based off the card that you use. Mm-hmm. 
So, but like with Walmart, I just pay with the Walmart app. I have my card on there. And so I just scan and walk out. You know, I'll have some like I'll, if I'll have it on my phone, like, hey, can I see your receipt? And I'll just show it to him and I'll keep walking. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, you saw it. Like, <laughs> but <laughs> like, I don't care, man. Yeah. I just don't care. But yeah, I was like, I was like, this guy, I was like, yeah, I just talked to myself. I'm like, son of a bitch is just like, I don't care. I'm going to do what I want. I'm here. I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm going to work out. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but I, mean, I like to have fun with like there's one time they're like sir i need to see your receipt it's like oh just ask the cashier that rung me up they'll tell you i i paid for everything they're like well who was that? i go it was me and then just keep walking <laughs> it was me he paid <laughs> it was me yeah so, but there's like one guy at the, the walmart over here like he just knows like he just doesn't ask me anymore because he knows i'm not stopping and i'm not and like he was checking someone's receipt and the lady was pitching a fit about it right and I go walking by and she's like, well, why didn't you stop him? He's like, him? Oh, he's not going to stop for me. He's not showing me his receipt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, him? He doesn't stop. <laughs> yeah, that guy's not stopping. Like, oh, God. Oh, that's all there is to that. Uh, Bill said, uh, all the toilets in York's police station have been stolen. The police have nothing to go on. <laughs> <laughs> Last one of the night. Let's go. And uh, 15 years ago, I married my best friend. The wife was pretty pissed. But me and Leon were drunk and thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like uh, that one a lot. That's a good one to end the to end the show on. Uh, oh yeah. You know what, guys? Thank you so much for being uh for, for watching us, supporting us. Um we're gonna record something for Patreon, you know, we're gonna have some fun with that. Um you can join the Patreon for free. We put free videos out there too. Uh, but if you want a little bit extra, you know, it's like three bucks, buy your pals a beer and, uh, you know, just see what you get. You get more content from us, but also go check us out over at, uh, SB fantasy football dot or not dot com. We don't have a website, but SB fantasy football, uh, that's where all of our, that's where pretty much all of our fantasy football content is. We do lives over on YouTube before this show at 7 PM central time. Uh, I do live Saturday night, a bunch of shorts, things like that, but Check it out. Give us a follow. Don't give us a follow. It's hey, what whatever floats your boat. But thank you guys. We love you. As always, I'm Alan. I'm RD. Talk to you guys later. Deuces. <laughs>